spirits. These poor people have bad means to cook their food, so I recommend that you shut down their house for the next seventh day. Mm. Ugh. Hear me, Grumpy. There are some people on this earth like you who claim to know me and my elder sisters and do their deeds of selfishness and cruelty in our name. These so-called men and women of God act as if they've never committed a sin. Charge their doings to them, not us. Yes, I will. Good. Here we are. Why did you bring me to this old shack? This is the home of your overworked, underpaid employee, Mickey. All right, Oswald, let's surprise Mickey and Webby when they come home. How about I hide right in there? Good, Oswald. Mickey will be surprised. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, being ow! Pay attention. We are not going to see beyond that giant nose of yours. Merry Christmas, Minnie. Merry Christmas, Mickey and Webby. How are things? They're very good. Me and Mickey brought back some food. Here, Minnie. Where's Oswald? Oswald's not coming this year. Well, that's a little strange. Oswald usually comes on Christmas Day. Surprise, Mickey! I came. Oswald, I'm so glad you came. Of course I come for Christmas. So, Mickey, how was Webby at church? She was very sweet at church, Minnie. You should have really seen her. She had she has so much hope and kindness. You know, when me and her walked back from home, she said she wished that everyone saw her in church. And it can remind everyone that there was a time when people who were crippled can walk and be mended, and people who are blind can see once again. Abby sure has a lot of wisdom and strength despite those state that she is in. She sure does. The house smells great, Manny. <coughs> smells like a pastry shop. <coughs> Spirit, what's wrong with that poor girl? I see a vacant seat in the chimney corner and a crotch without an owner, carefully preserved. No, no. Wow, look at all the wonderful food we're going to eat. You can all have it, everyone. I'll just have this. Oh, Mickey, you're just so kind and unselfish. Hey, everyone, I'd like to give a toast to Grumpy, the founder of the feast. Founder of the feast, I doubt it. But Manny, oh no you don't. Hey, let me go. Even though Grumpy is rude and greedy, he was kind enough to give me a day off for Christmas with to spend time with you guys. Well, you know what I think of Grumpy? I think he's cruel, heartless, selfish, and greedy. And I really hope that he chokes on his wine when he chugs it down. Manny, please, it's Christmas. How to show a little compassion. I think why Grumpy hates Christmas so much and why the way he is now because something might have happened to him a long time ago. So a toast to Grumpy, to Grumpy, and God bless us, God bless us, everyone. Ugh. Spirit, please tell me that Webby will live. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, I believe the child will die. Die? No, spirit, please. Well, why do you care then? If she's going to die, she had better do it and decrease the surplus population. Where are we now? All right, everyone, let's play a game. Let's play a guessing game. Is it an animal? No. A dog? No. A cow? No. An ass? Yes and no. Is it someone who uh, lives near here? Yes. Hmm, let's see. I know. I know who it is, David. It's Grumpy. Yes. Good work, Snow. Yay. Huh? Don't look at me. Well, even though Grumpy is joked about with us all, I actually feel pity for him. Pity? Can you believe how he acted? He talked about the surplus population being decreased when we asked for a donation. Well, I think it's because Grumpy's just lonely. You're kind of right about that, David. He didn't really show up at the Christmas party. You know, if he showed up, the Christmas spirit could be shown in him. That is true. So I think...
made a toast to Grumpy. To Grumpy. So, David truly does care about me. They all do. Even Mickey tries to show a little compassion towards me. Indeed they do. Come, my time grows short. Spirit, do you grow old? I do. My life upon this globe is very brief. I'm sorry to say, but my time ends at the stroke of twelve. Spirit, please, don't leave me. You've taught me so much. Indeed I have. You have made a better person out of me. You've changed me. Yes, I have. And that is why I now leave you with the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You mean the future? Yes. Must I? Go forth and know him better, man. <laughs> Are you the ghost of Christmas yet to c c come? I know that your purpose is to show me good. Is that right, spirit? Spirit. I fear you more than any other specter I have been shown, but I am willing to learn what you're here to show me with a thankful heart. Will you not speak to me? Oh, yes, yes. The night is waning fast. Lead on, spirit. <laughs> Those are the three pigs. 